Assalamu alaikum, inshallah you well. I just watched Dina and Sid's like Ramadan vlog. Are you catching up with theirs? Because I think it's really good, their ones. Um, and Dina's just had like buttered toast. Now I really want buttered toast and tea. So I think I'm gonna have some slices. Ali's not even home, he's with his brother. So he's probably gonna have Sekhri out. Um, which is fine, whatever. You know, we can't all have luxurious lifestyles like that. I'm really craving toast <laughs> with lots of butter. But um, I never get like this at all. Like, even when I'm pregnant, I don't get cravings like that. It's during Ramadan when you see other people's food and you're like, oh, I want that. Or if you see like a KFC advert, I want that. <laughs> So that is definitely the case for me. Is anyone else like that? But um, yeah, I can't believe Ramadan has flown by and it's nearly the end. I mean, yeah, it's crazy how fast it's going. I just thought I'd chit chat really, because I'm alone, feel a bit lonely. And I do feel Ramadan is much more lonelier when you move away from home. No, it's a lot more lonelier, like it's the responsibilities on yourself and if, you know, your partner's not here, she's even more lonely, really, isn't it? Even, like, iftar is all on my own, and... I mean, if I lived somewhere, like, closer to town and stuff, it would have been different. Like, you know, it could have been easier to go around someone's house for iftar, but it just clashes with the kids' bedtimes. So it's really... I feel like Ramadan is very lonely for women when it's longer hours for fasting because in the winter it's obviously a lot shorter and it's much more sociable hours for women with young kids who have routines but um yeah so ever since I've left home Ramadan has always been lonely and I feel like that's one of the reasons why I make more I try to get the kids involved just so you know it's more fun for me I mean very selfishly I do it for myself it's very lonely but it's okay like I mean I also feel like Allah puts us in a position to be lonely so we can focus on him so in that sense it's a blessing but also I feel like it takes away sort of the essence for Ramadan for me just like personally, I like, it's a very special month and I feel like we isolate ourselves in the longer hours, like the summer hours. I am probably looking more forward to the winter hours just to be a bit more social. I'm gonna go make some toast now. If I haven't shown you our Ramadan calendar this year, let me show it to you now because it is incredibly beautiful. And it's from a company called Indulge with Lansko. And there's their Facebook and Instagram page and website. And it looks like this. It is gorgeous. It opens out, there's a picture of a masjid, scenery with kids, and then they've got these boxes. So these are the ones that we already had, so they're like that, day three. And then you put it away, and inshallah, it'll be a nice picture. So it's something, two things to look forward to, chocolate and a picture at the end. And the best thing about this is that it's reusable, 
you can use it again and again as long as you keep out of the way of the kids like I am it stays on the top shelf and also you can cut out the calendar like the kindness calendar bits and pieces and put it in as well and maybe like a little toy or a sweet or something as well there's plenty of space for all that maybe a deed of the day a prayer of the day they, so these ones came with these chocolates which are very cute personalised ones that says Ramadan Mubarak is it going to focus? these ones, very nice I really like them so yeah, for next year go check them out I thought I'd quickly share with you a few bits and pieces I've just picked up from Amazon. So I picked up this first, which is a raspberry seed oil. And it's meant to be like a natural alternative to using commercial sunblock. So I picked that up. And this small bottle is actually £10. And then I picked up these um, for like £2 something. Um, you've seen the animal ones, but I thought I'd pick up like transport ones this time for the kids so they can just have some fun with that and then I picked up these wooden letters so there's capital letters and then there's lowercase letters because I really want to start getting Camille learning like his alphabet and stuff so hopefully he's a bit more hands on and will enjoy this and then I bought this for myself you know you get the add-on items it's this one, it's meant to be like a little chubby screwdriver and I can never find a screwdriver at home so I thought I'd keep this one for myself and it's got all the different bits and pieces there which one would you like now? Uh, giraffe. you want a giraffe? What that, mommy? which one would you like? duck you want the, huh? you want the duck? Yeah. here you go, where are you going to put it? Go on then. Good girl. What else would you like? I'm a duck. You want another duck? Yeah. Can you find another duck? Yeah. Good girl. Well done. We've just spent some time making these, which are like DIY jumping animals. I mean, the dinosaurs. But it's really kept them quiet. Like, they're really enjoying it. I mean, we've made a mess. But, look, that's the T-Rex. There's the Triceratops. Uh, I should have broke, broke this one. I see you broke the pterodactyl. Yeah, and me. And you. Sure. Should, I, should I do the raptor and stegosaurus or diplodocus? Which one should I do now? I, I think do this one. Which one's that one? Stegosaurus. That's the stegosaurus. This one, what's this? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Should I do this one now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Every night. I was sent this stuff earlier this week, and I just sort of share with you what it is because it's a Muslim brand for like homemade soap, and it's a brand called Middle Path Soapery, and they have black seed and date soap, which. I think is this one um yeah Asia opened it and I don't know what everything is so I think it's this one black seed and date soap and then I've got this one which is goat's milk and honey and it looks so pretty let me show you yeah goat's milk and honey facial soap which is this one and then they've given us some samples as well of little ones so this one is hold on just written it down for me there's okay so this purple one which is integrity geranium lavender soap uh, this one which is charcoal and clay soap and there's a cucumber star flower soap. Ooh. I'm really excited to try this one actually. And 
they're saying that this goat milk soap is suitable for sensitive skin and it doesn't have to be just a facial soap you can use it all over the body thank you very much middle path soapery for that i cannot wait to try these and do check them out on their instagram page which is middle path soapery yeah and also what i really liked about it is the packaging there's nothing plastic it's all paper and we donate to plant a tree for each soap bar we sell. Oh, that's really good, you know. So, yeah, it's all like paper packaging. So, they're very kind to the environment, which is very important. So, yeah, do go check out Middle Path Soapery. I'll include a link below. So, today, these two are making their Eid cards for family and friends. And that is part of their challenge for today's kindness challenge. And it's need a dry. Yeah, you having fun? I have got more colours, but Camille put pink in every single oh, pot, I and I didn't know. Like it. I thought I'd quickly share with you guys a storage solution that. I finally found for the wooden puzzles and it's these A4 zip wallets from Asda they're like one pound and yeah I just got different color ones and it's just so much easier the kids don't lose the pieces anymore and it's just so much more organized now I've just got to find a better box to go with this room color but as I just grabs one and she just plays with whichever one and nothing is messy anymore I absolutely love it it is perfect <laughs> so this is a prayer mat from my salah mat it is incredible <laughs> it's so good, it's interactive and it really makes Camille want to learn to pray. Why this is not making noise? So this is the box it came in and you get a book with it. <laughs> it's in seven languages. I want this to make noise. You can learn about Uzu, Azan, Surah, Dua, Salah times and Salah positions. There's so many things you can learn with this. It's touch and play, it's so good and I couldn't recommend this enough so I'm actually doing a giveaway from my salah mat so head over to my Instagram to see what you have to do it's gonna be so easy it's just gonna be comment below and follow them and me on Instagram but yeah do go and enter to win one because it really is so cool do you like it Kama? I don't think they're supposed to make a noise I was just tidying up and I just found this and I remember I hid it from Ali because oh I thought it was Ali coming home um it's funny about me buying stuff but should we have a look what I bought so it's like this it's like a shirt dress like that and then it's got a tie around the middle And I got it because it should be 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. So obviously it's not more breathable material for this summer, but not as many layers. And I thought, because it's long sleeve, it should come up to like my knee. It will be quite good coverage. So I've got that in a medium. And then I picked up this dress. I love this colour. As you can see, it's like the same family. It's a bit thicker than I thought it was going to be. But we'll see. It feels like a towel kind of material. 
so inshallah it's not very thick like when you wear it and it's just a little dress like a midi length dress and i thought it'd be quite nice to wear like in the summer or in, just in the garden i also ordered for the first time off the website shein.com i only ordered two items like two dresses i think like um yeah like a shirt dress wrap around and like a paisley wrap around dress um and it said eight to ten working days so hopefully it should be here for like two weeks next friday so it should be like the last few days of ramadan and what was really bizarre was that um they charge you 99 pence for delivery insurance which i was like that is so bizarre and it kind of tells me that goods don't get delivered and when they don't they don't care that's the gist i'm getting so very bizarre so we'll see how I get on. I'll, I'll let you guys know how I get on with shein.com. And I've got a size large. Well, that's probably safest. <laughs> hey guys, so today just did a lot of stuff with the kids and just chilled. We went out for a walk in the woods. Very muddy, wore sandals, wasn't appropriate. Um, it's now like 10 to 7, so I need to give the kids a bath and then chuck them into bed so I can tidy this room up because it's a bit of a mess and then I need to prepare iftar I don't know what I'm going to have not sure what I'm craving but yeah see you in a minute <laughs> he's crazy he's got a hat on socks on and it's so hot outside he's tidying up because I told him to so for iftar I'm going to have a smoothie I'm going to have it's literally like this mango pulp. It's yogurt, strawberries, bananas, and honey as well. And I'm hoping it's going to be nice. I'm also making a kima rice because I'm really craving that with like just salad. So hopefully it'll be all right. And here's the quick kima rice. The story of my life is not having enough coriander. I am the worst when it comes to coriander. <laughs> I'm going to end the vlog here because my two are still up and they've just made more mess. So, before I freak out, I'm going to go. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.